Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Gabby and Jelly Bean here, and we wanted to give you guys a Jelly Bean update. So we've had Jelly Bean for about two weeks now, and he's really starting to come out of his shell. I definitely feel like I understand toucan behavior a lot better. Um, I can kind of tell when he's gonna bite me or when I'm gonna be able to pet him. He does allow me to pet his beak. He actually played with me for the first time yesterday. Uh, he was being very gentle with his beak on my fingers, so that was like a huge breakthrough. He also let me open up his wings, which is like pretty crazy. He still doesn't like men. Uh, he still tries to attack Chris. Chris is able to give him blueberries and he'll take them gentle. But yeah, Chris hasn't been able to touch him or anything yet. So what I've been doing, I've been giving him blueberries. And then if he's in the mood, I start off with the tail. And that he kind of lets me know. If he turns around to bite me, I, I kind of back off. But I'm gonna give him another one and see. I'm gonna try that. But if he's in the mood, he will let me Okay, all right, yeah, yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be nice, okay. So he's doing what Zazu does. Zazu is a hornbill that I've raised since he was three months. So when Zazu wants to play, I'll give him a piece of fruit or something and he'll kind of do this and kind of chase you or want you to chase him. And then when you put your hands out, they'll kind of put it in your hand, kind of like they're sharing. I think he's a little hungry. You love blueberries, it's his favorite tree. Hi, you guys share with me? Look at him, but what I've been doing, I've been starting with the tail and kind of working my way up to the back and then his head. What do you think? Come here. So he's not being as friendly as he usually is. I'll have to add some videos of when it's just me and him alone because Chris That's is obviously, I'm here. Chris I'm is obviously here, here filming. I'm here filming I and uh, he does not like me. He doesn't like you, he just doesn't like men. It's not personal. Your bird is sexist. So we did take him to the vet and he is pretty healthy. We did a full blood work panel, culture, everything. Uh, the only thing is the good the good bacteria in his gut, uh, the levels are a little low, so he's on daily probiotics, which we're gonna do for the rest of his life. The vet also mentioned that she thinks that he might be a girl just because of the size of the beak. We're still waiting on DNA results. We should have those in a few days. So I can't wait to figure out or to learn if he's a, a boy or a girl. Either way, I'm gonna love it, him. Oh, Jelly Bean's a good name. Jelly Bean's a unisex name. Look, he's being so gentle. Okay, you're being very gentle. That's amazing, thank you. That's so good. So I think he's kind of letting me know right now he doesn't want me to pet him, which is fine. What I've been doing with him, I have not forced him to do anything he doesn't want to do. So we haven't been letting him out of the cage. He doesn't want to hop up anymore, which I'm going to go into that uh, in a little bit, but I don't force him to do anything. So I'm not grabbing him. I'm not petting him when he doesn't want to be pet. You know, I'm not forcing him to step up. I kind of just let him do what he wants. And I think it's been working, you know, he'll let me know when he wants to play or wants to be touched. So when we first got him, his nails were just so long and sharp. And I have parrots, I've had parrots for a long time. Even when their nails are sharp, it does not compare to a toucan's nails. He was cutting me, he was making me bleed. So when I brought him to the vet, I uh, asked if it was okay to just cut his nails a little bit and they dremeled it. But now I think, okay, that's a little harder. That's a little harder, that's okay. I think that um, he's not as confident because he jumped on me once and then slipped off. And ever since then, he hasn't wanted to jump up. So I think I might have messed up with that one, but hey, that's how we learn, right? So in the future, I probably won't be cutting his nails. I have been talking to a lot of bird experts. Bird Tricks actually commented on our last video. So hopefully in the future, we'll be able to work with them. They have a toucan and they do such amazing work with all their birds. So I would love to learn a trick or two from them. So hopefully in the future, we'll be doing that. And we really just wanna give him the best life we can. So we have a few blueberries left. So I'm gonna switch places with Chris. I just sprung this on him, his eyes were like. So we're gonna switch places and we're gonna see if Jelly Bean will let Chris give him a blueberry. Oh boy, Chris gets to get bit by the toucan now. No, it's okay, just go slow. Don't force him, you know, if he doesn't want it, he'll let you know. I also don't fit in there. I know, it's because you're seven feet tall. Oh. That was a little, a little hard. <laughs> but look at him, he's not dropping it and trying to attack you. Hi. I definitely, definitely think we're making progress. Hi, buddy. Yeah. 
I'm too tall for this thing. You can just sit up straight. It will flex. Just stand up. It's going to hit your head, but. Jelly bean. Jelly bean. Ooh, that was a little quick. Yeah. He's not being as nice, not as gentle. Yeah, but I mean, this is still bonding, you know? You're not grabbing him or forcing him to do anything he doesn't want to do. So you're just giving him treats and then he will let you know when he doesn't want your treats anymore. <laughs> We're just going slow. He looks, I mean, he looks pretty happy right now. He's still holding mm -hmm. on to the blueberry. He's jumping around. Maybe if I get closer, he'll be nicer. Hi, Jelly Bean, good boy. You wanna give it to me? Come here. You wanna give it to me? He's so cute. You should go give that to daddy. Daddy really wants to be your friend. Hey, jelly bean. Those are happy noises he's making. Hey, jelly bean. I can't believe how vocal he's been lately too. You want, you want to have both? Can you do that? Thank you. <laughs> Ouch. You're right. Yeah. Okay, we did say the good, the bad, and the ugly we were gonna show. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was gentle. That See? was good. So he did bite me, but it's not as hard as the first time, so it's not too bad. But um, yeah, you definitely realize how much damage this guy can do, you know. And that beak is serrated, and because they're predatory, they are really quick and precise with their beak. You know, like when I'm dealing with the parrots, I mean, you know, parrots can obviously bite you really hard too, but you can kind of judge it better and get away a lot easier with the parrot. Uh, with him, he's just so fast and so jabby that like you can't really avoid it. If he wants to get you, he's going to get you. Now, something else that we learned in having him is how vocal they are. And, you know, just really to drive home that we do not in any way recommend one of these guys as a pet. Not only do they bite really hard, they're really expensive, they have very strict dietary requirements, but they're also really loud. He spent like a good hour the other night just wah, 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 just nonstop. And that's what we've been waking up to every morning at sunrise is him just going off and he's happy it's not like 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 i don't know it's not like a parrot like screaming kind of thing i think it's more of a territorial call for him kind of like what petrie does um i'm not too sure but that's kind of my my uh, theory so far but yeah it's a lot louder than i thought it'd be all right so we're out of blueberries and uh well he let me know he doesn't like me here very much right now so let's go ahead and leave him be and we're gonna go check on the rescue savannah monitor now Don't bite your daddy. Don't bite your daddy, that's not nice. So this is the rescue Savannah monitor that was surrendered to us. And uh, he came in, you know, very, very skinny and uh, not, not doing so hot, but he's doing a lot better now. He's eaten a couple times for us and we're gonna go ahead and give him uh, some super worms right now. They're in this bowl. By the way, thank you uh, to everybody who's been sending in donations to us. Uh, we got this bowl sent to us from our Amazon wish list. So thank you so much for that. Clover is like, I want worms. Look at Clovey. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? So this guy really likes worms, but um, I don't know. I, I feel like he has a hard them. time. We can put him on the tile. Just sometimes he has a hard time like getting them. Now he sees him. Look how cute he is. See, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, he's pretty goofy in the way that he moves. So I don't know if he has some like metabolic bone disease. Yeah, I mean, you can see that, I mean, you can obviously see the hips here and the spine. So um, he probably does have some, some metabolic bone disease, nutritional deficiencies. But he's still pretty young, so we're hoping that maybe he can grow out of that still. There you go, buddy. 
Look at look how cute Clover is watching. Are you watching? She's just observing. Super cute. Good girl, Clover. She's <laughs> fascinated. Girl. She's like, what is going on? Something weird is going on there. Yeah, the way that he moves and he's definitely does not uh, have control of his faculties like he should. I said that the last video and everyone's like, no, that's just how monitors eat and like reposition the mouse. I'm like, okay, yes, I, I know that's what they do, but I'm telling you something is wrong. <laughs> There's definitely something wrong with Yeah. <laughs> They've been giving him daily soaks. His basking spot is at like 100 at least. So he's getting the proper care now. You know, we have good lighting on him. I feel like he's already putting on a little weight. We don't want to do it again too quickly. We don't want to overwhelm his system, but he looks good and he's showing us he wants to eat and he really wants to live. Oh my god, Lucky is so loud. He's so cute, like a little dinosaur. So we're just hanging out with him. He is really cute. We really, really love this guy. But uh, we had a lot of comments of people saying that we should keep him. Um, you know, we can't, we can't keep every animal that we save and, you know, we're going to adopt him out. And that's just something that you, you have to do when you're a rescue. You have to adopt animals out. And if you try to keep every single thing that comes in, I mean, you end up in a hoarding situation for one. And, and that's just not going to be in the best interest of the animals. You know, you want to be able to adopt them out to other people who are going to give them a lot more attention just because we're going to be focused on the animals we already have and rescuing more animals. Now we also want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's been responding to our Amazon wish list. We've been getting everyday packages of all kinds of great equipment and, and things to help us rescue and take care of animals like this bull right here just came in. Uh, we've got a ton of critical care to be able to take care of animals. Just so much really awesome stuff and it's so great to get so much support from everybody out there. So thank you so much to everybody who's been helping us out with that. So thanks again, guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Like, subscribe, share, please. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, the update. And I know everybody's favorite part is me getting bit by the toucan.